Hello and welcome to round one. This is a perfect looking hand. We have both our colors, we have things to do early, things to do mid-game, and, and that's about all we need. Just start with our cheap stuff and then go from there. Alright, sometimes you have to think about what your opponent could have here. They could have a creature counterspell or they could have like a sensor. So playing Ornery Kudu out is not quite as appealing as just playing the Bitterblade Warrior. Uh, it's possible they've just f 6 here as well, but eh, I'll go for the Bitterblade Warrior. It's not much, It's not any less damage. Nice, nice. Okay. Maybe they just don't have much to do. Did they? Mulligan? Yeah, they mulliganed and put a card on top. So they might have been searching for land. What do we do here? I guess we put a counter on the Bitterblade Warrior because that can attack through anything with Death Touch. And a 3-4 just has a lot of potential to attack through things. Well, punished for that decision. But it's not that bad. Nothing to kill yet with Cartouche of Strength, so let's just keep developing. You'll notice, of course, I'm not um, exerting creatures. It just doesn't make sense here when we're getting in more damage by regular attacking. And, oh, there we go. And this gives us a way to attack through something like an Emberhorn Minotaur this turn. I wonder if they'll block here. Be careful to exert each creature individually. That has gotten me before. Uh, if they just don't block here, they're dead. In fact, this should be lethal if they can't counter it, and one mana doesn't counter anything. So they're at zero. Clean little victory in a, against an opponent who only plays two spells. Didn't see much there, but it does look like a spell deck. Blue-red. So we're not looking for Haze of Pollen. Uh, Fling is decent. We really just need a bunch of creatures. Maybe Pouncing Cheetah gets better. It seems to block like a 4-3 a that comes in unexerted. What can we cut for that? Maybe even just cutting a land makes sense here on the draw. And I like cutting the spell land because the colors are more important for us. And a 3-2 is just better than a 2-2. Pimmons with the Chandra Avatar. Torch of Defiance Prestige. What does that even mean? Alright, so they're on the play. That makes sense. We took out a land, which is misery right now. But I think we can keep this. And hopefully draw land. Ah, uh, this might have been a bad keep. Might have been a bad keep. We have so many expensive cards. And we do have to fetch here, so we get green in case we draw anything. Okay, okay. Still in it. We just need to get that third land, and then we're in good shape. Most of the cards in our deck cost three or less. Not going to block this guy, we just attack back for more unless they can untap it somehow. Slither Blade, oh boy. So we do just get to attack here. And we can hold up Fling in case they try to enchant their Slither Blade with something. We need a Cycler now to help find the land. Right. Ugh, another Bitter Blade Warrior. This does not look like our game to win. 
And that's my fault for, for keeping a one lander, especially evolving wilds. Make our bitter blade warrior smaller. That means we just can't block anything. Uh, we might as well. We might as well chump the four damage here. Maybe some heaven to earth will save us later in the game. For now, we can just play our kudu out. Won't make the same mistake as last time by putting the counter on the other creature, because if they do have Electrify, then we're left with a 1-1. One, one. And that is no fun. So we need two more lands. One of them has to be a mountain, and then we can actually deal with everything here. Uh, for now, we'll just try to survive. Okay, they like the trade. It is a bad trade for us, but it'd be even worse if they had to electrify. And that is not good. So they're drawing whatever they need, getting card quantity and selection, while we just struggle to stay alive here. We can come back, though. This is um, a powerful hand, if hard to deploy. they get to discard an extra land. That must be nice. We wish we had an extra land to discard. They can exert through our sure shot here, but we have been forcing them to exert, so it's really only one and a half damage per turn instead of the full two. There's the Electrify. They might have had it last turn, and they just figured they get a two for one without spending any mana. Not looking good, so the hope here Benefaction doesn't really do it for us. The hope here is to draw a mountain next turn and that Earth kills all of their creatures. So we'll cast Heaven on their end step or whatever. Maybe they'll play a 3-2 flyer. <laughs> Right, so in the face of Emberhorn Minotaur, we actually can't win here, and I don't want to reveal Heaven, so we can just concede. Actually, nothing we can do. Yeah, so the big the big thing there was just not enough land. Uh, 16 is usually enough for this format. On the play, I'll go up to 17. That's a little more comfortable, especially with Tormenting Voice in the deck. And what did we put in? Pouncing Cheetah? Yeah, we don't need that. I don't think it was wrong to go down to 16 that game on the draw, but yeah, it would have been nice to have an extra land. And to be fair, we didn't see our pouncing cheetah, and that was what we cut, or that was what we put in for the land. Okay, would you like to play first? Yes. And this hand is great. It's got a lot of stuff to do. It even thins our deck which is a nice thing to see with a land-heavy hand like this. Because we're thankful for all the lands we have in hand now. Opponent mulligans again, so that's a good sign. But we don't want too many more. In fact, nothing in our deck costs more than five on the front end. Oh, whoops, I meant to uh, crack that, but I was <laughs> looking at my deck list here. And we drew a non-land anyway, so... It all works out. Okay, nothing to shoot with the trial, so we just play Kudu. If it doesn't get countered or censored. They are thinking about it. Better that than anything else, really. The Heart Piercer Manticore comes back for six, and of course, um, Earth can be cast for a whole bunch. Drakehaven. Not sure how I feel about that. But our only option here is just play our Kudu and hope our Colossipede can churn through a bunch of drakes. So we've got three cartouches in our deck we can draw. Hmm. 
they have to have very cheap cyclers to get two drakes in play this turn. So I think we just attack with Mr. Kudu here. Well, they can get one drake, but they don't block with it, right? The only red spell that could help kill this is Magma Spray, and then they lose two things. So given that, let's just play our biggest, baddest guy. Nice. Yeah, getting Colossipede into play there is uh, solid. In fact, I think it was wrong of them to cycle Floodwaters there. It means we know we have less counter magic to play around, and we might have run out the Manticore. Here comes Mr. Drake. They've got mostly Drakes over there. I would say all of their creatures are Drakes. Hmm. We've got two mana up. It could counter any creature. It could bounce a creature back to hand. Yeah, I think we just attack here. They could try something funny like bouncing the Colossipede and killing the Kudu. But they don't do that. I doubt they have another sensor. And yeah, they're not going to counter Trial of Zeal. So let's just cast Trial of Zeal to finish off the Enigma Drake. Hopefully it still has that 2 damage on it. Yeah, nice. And they might scatter our chariots here. Nope, they don't. They going to bounce two creatures? No, just play a River Serpent. That is okay. We can't attack through it so much, but we can sort of kill it off here. Our other option would just be to attack with everything, and they take... well, they kill the chariots here, which is bad for us, and they don't take all that much. They could take, like, five, and the Masticore doesn't really finish it off, so I think we go with Colossipede, and, and that's it. They double block here. Eh. It was bad against a pump that we might have had, but we didn't. Now where do we put the minus one, minus one counter? I think again we put it on our Manticore, because spot removal just really screws us if they kill the Manticore after putting our thing on the, the Kudu. Down to one card. Could be Cancel, could be a Cycler. For them to get a drake. Oh no. Well, I hope it isn't a bounce effect because that does get really scary. Especially if they bounce our poor kudu. Nice. So our kudu now fights the drake. And then we kill the uh, manticore with trial of zeal. And that puts them pretty dead. It is nice to have some lands to play. And what is this? 10 damage to them, so they need to play their Drake to block. And if they don't have the Cycler, then we got him.